Good morning, juniors, and I'm so happy everyone is able to stay home and get well and be safe. Today, while you're at home, I totally anticipate that you are going to continue working on your paper. There's no new assignment attached today, only that you continue working on your paper and that you let me know exactly what it is you're going to be doing today within your paper. Yesterday, you should have finished your person paper. However, there are a couple things I want to go over to make sure everyone is well understanding um, what I expect within that person paper. And this goes along also with your place and thing idea. So keep in mind, your person paper should be at minimum 300 words. Can you go over? Absolutely. I also want you to know that along with having quotes within your paper cited, you also should have every paragraph where you've introduced information cited as well. So with the exception of your introduction and with the exception of your conclusion in your person paper, I should see a citation telling your reader where you got your information. Now, I don't expect for you to cite after every single sentence. So for instance, let's pretend this whole paragraph here is full of information about Maria Montessori. At the very end of the paragraph, you can make a source. So you would list the website used and the year published and put it at the end of the paragraph. What that tells the reader is, yes, this paragraph is absolutely all in my own words. However, I didn't make up with make up any of that information. I've actually learned this information from a reliable source. Okay, so for instance, if I utilize this information from this website right here, American Montessori Society, that's going to be the name of my website. Remember, I don't need the whole URL. So I'm going to put American Montessori Society. Then I need the year published. Typically, you can find the year published at the bottom of the site near a copyright. Um, that's often where it's noted. Or it can be at the top as well. Okay. Let me move that because that's in the way. There we go. Sorry, my icon was in the way, but you can see here 2021 is the copyright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, go back to my paper and put 2021. Okay. And then I can put my period after. Okay. This indicates that all of this information I just told you came from that site, even though it's in my own words. Now, someone asked me yesterday, what if I got information in this paragraph from two websites? Well, then all you would do is put your next website over here. Say I got some more information from this website or from this particular paragraph from Wikipedia. I would just go ahead and make another citation. I'm just going to make up something for the time being. And you can have two different sources cited at the end of your paragraph. That tells your reader that all of this information came from one of these two websites. You should do that for every single body paragraph. At the very end, I should see a source. At the very end, I should see a source. Okay, not just on quotes at the end of your paragraph. Your conclusion, not so much. Also, make sure in your conclusion that you have some sort of transition to let your reader know that you're moving on to the next paper. Let me read my conclusion for you. Maria Montessori was a woman of many talents and discoveries. I'm just going to restate and summarize some things that I said. Maria Montessori was a woman of many talents and discoveries. She not only revolutionized the way we teach young children, but also created spaces that encouraged learning and facilitated growth. It is because of Maria Montessori that many institutions have developed alternative approaches to education. She later took those items and developed entire Montessori schools around the world um, that practice what she preached.
I had an error there. Let me fix that. Okay. So basically, this leads my reader to know that possibly the next part of my paper is going to be discussing Montessori schools. So maybe in your last sentence or within your last two sentences, you make reference to the place you're going to be talking about. If you didn't do that, please go back and correct it. Then go ahead and today you should be moving on to your place. Notice here that my second part of the paper, the place, has been moved down. You want to back that up. All I did was put the cursor and I'm hitting the backspace until it's at the top of your paper. Then you can go ahead and list the name of your place and start writing. Go about the same process as you did for your last paper as well. Okay, so now you are writing about your place, and I should see some major um, progress happening with your place. Um, that paper is going to be due by Friday at midnight, okay? So on Google Classroom, I asked the question, or there's a box for you to answer a question. What I want to know specifically is where I can find you working. For instance, if you're someone that's been absent and you're behind, please tell me exactly where you're working so that way I have to I don't have to go out searching for you. I need to know which part of the paper you will be working on today. That is what the answer should be in the Google class in the Google question on Google Classroom. Where will you be working today? Where can I find you? Okay. Lastly, if you have any questions about the paper or the process or the citations, please seek me out via email or Google Hangouts. I'll be able to be contacted at any point throughout the day. Okay. Good luck. Get writing and utilize your time wisely. Thanks, guys.